Water, the most abundant resource on Earth and the key to feeding billions, but not from the ocean, not from lakes. We're talking about fish grown on land, controlled, clean, profitable. This is fish farming, and it's transforming how the world produces protein. Welcome to Next Harvest Network, your global destination for everything agriculture. From ancient methods to futuristic farming, from rice fields to recirculating systems, we cover it all. Today, we explore the fish farming methods that are feeding the future across continents, climates, and cultures. Let's begin with one of the oldest and most widely used approaches, pond fish farming. Simple, scalable, and cost-effective. This method involves digging earthen or concrete ponds, filling them with fresh water, and stocking them with species like tilapia, catfish, or carp. It's widely practiced in Asia, Latin America, and Sub-Saharan Africa. In India, China, and Bangladesh, smallholder pond farms produce millions of tons of fish each year, often using integrated farming techniques with crops or livestock. Pond farming is affordable and accessible, but comes with challenges like water quality control, disease outbreaks, and vulnerability to predators and flooding. Still, for many rural communities, it remains the backbone of aquaculture. Next is cage fish farming, an open water method that involves placing large netted enclosures in lakes, rivers, or coastal areas. Fish are raised in these cages while benefiting from natural water currents and oxygen flow. This technique is used heavily in countries like Norway, Chile, China, Indonesia, and Canada, with species like salmon, tilapia, and sea bass. Cage farming allows for high density production and fast growth. It's ideal for large scale commercial operations, especially in regions with abundant fresh water or calm marine environments. But it also requires strong regulation, environmental management, and biosecurity to prevent disease, escape, or pollution. For more controlled environments, many producers are turning to recirculating aquaculture systems, or RAS. This is fish farming indoors using tanks, filters, and sensors to manage water quality and fish health with precision. RAS uses minimal water and space while maintaining optimal growth conditions. It's ideal for urban aquaculture, and it's gaining popularity in the United States, Europe, and urban centers across Asia. These systems can be built in warehouses, basements, or even shipping containers. They allow for year-round production, minimal waste, and traceable supply chains. The challenge? High startup costs and technical expertise but for producers looking for biosecure, climate-resilient production, RAS is the future. Then there's aquaponics, an integrated system that grows both fish and plants in a closed-loop environment. Fish produce waste, which becomes natural fertilizer for the plants. The plants, in turn, filter the water, which is then returned to the fish tanks. Aquaponics combines aquaculture and hydroponics, and it's gaining ground in urban centers from Singapore to Sao Paulo. It's perfect for leafy greens, herbs, tomatoes, and ornamental fish. Aquaponics is highly efficient, water-saving, and chemical-free. It's popular with schools, startups, restaurants, and eco-farms around the world. But it requires balance. Too many fish or too many plants can break the cycle. For the supply side of aquaculture, hatchery systems are essential. Fish breeding typically starts in indoor tanks or hapa nets placed in ponds, where broodstock produce eggs and fry are carefully raised before distribution. Countries like Vietnam, the Philippines, and Egypt have developed large-scale hatcheries to supply national and regional demand. Meanwhile, smaller hatcheries are popping up in rural and peri-urban areas, providing fingerlings to independent farmers. A reliable hatchery ensures faster growth, stronger survival rates, and uniform harvests. Globally, aquaculture now supplies more than half of all seafood consumed by humans, and it's expected to grow faster than any other food sector in the coming decade. From low-tech pond systems in Bangladesh to advanced RAS facilities in Denmark, fish farming is evolving and unlocking new opportunities across the globe. It creates jobs, supports nutrition, reduces pressure on wild fish, and builds climate-resilient food systems. Whether you're in the mountains of Peru, the deltas of Nigeria, or the suburbs of Tokyo, fish farming can work for you. Start where you are. Use what you have. Grow what your community eats. Thanks for tuning in to Next Harvest Network. If this video sparked a new idea or answered your questions, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. More deep dives are coming, from livestock to logistics and everything in between. Next Harvest Network, growing smarter, growing together.